Understanding the Canine Estra Cycle. Hello again from Central West Canine Breeding. For successful breeding, it is essential to understand the canine Estra Cycle and be aware of the variations that may often occur. The stages of the cycle are characterized by proestrus, estrus or heat, metestrus, diestrus and anestrus. In simple terms, when the bitch comes into heat, she shows proestrus for usually about seven to 10 days. We see swelling and firmness of the vulva and heavy bleeding is usually present. The bitch will not stand for or accept the male at this time. The estrus or heat period follows proestrus and lasts about five days. The vulva is still swollen However, the discharge becomes less bloody and usually has a straw-coloured appearance. It is at this time that the bitch will accept the male. During metestrus, a temporary endocrine gland develops from the area where the follicle or egg was released from the ovary. This temporary gland is known as the corpus luteum and will secrete progesterone, essential for the maintenance of the pregnancy. The bitch no longer accepts the male and the discharge is dark with vulval swelling reducing. During diestrus, progesterone secreted by the corpus luteum prepares the uterus for implantation and maintenance of the pregnancy. Diestrus may last for 10 to 140 days depending on whether the bitch is pregnant or not. Diestrus extends until the bitch whelps or the progesterone level drops to less than 1.9 nanogram per mil. Anestrus is the rest period before the next heat cycle and may last from 4 to 11 months. During anestrus, the uterus is undergoing repair and recovery after a false or true pregnancy. The period between heat periods, that's diestrus and anestrus, is 4.5 to 10 months, with an average of 7 months. Anestrus is characterised by no apparent hormonal activity, but hormones are cycling in low levels before surging and triggering proestrus once again. Unfortunately, it is not that simple to maximize your chances of a successful conception. We track the season of each bitch by serial progesterone testing and vaginal cytology. As you can see from this graph, ovulation days vary greatly from day three to day 45. We have successfully implanted frozen semen on day 45 with a German Shepherd and produced nine pups. We will discuss progesterone testing and vaginal cytology in detail in a subsequent episode on Aranavet TV. Let's look at some facts about the canine Easter cycle. The season of individual bitches may vary greatly and how they progress in one season may not be the same with subsequent seasons. By tracking progesterone levels, the following seasonal variations are often evident. We may see a shortened season, an extended season, a split season, a false season, or even a pathological season. Herein lies the challenge to track each bitch and determine the correct day to breed or implant. Bitches are more likely to come into heat in spring or summer, but may come into heat at any time of the year. Be aware that some bitches may show little bleeding from the vulva. They are having a silent heat and the only way to determine at what stage of the season they are is by progesterone testing. The behaviour of a male dog in the vicinity may alert you to a bitch having a silent heat. 
A bitch may come into first heat from 6 to 18 months of age. Small or toy breeds may show early seasonal surges as young as 6 months of age, whereas giant breeds may not cycle until 18 months of age. During the estrus phase of the cycle, the bitch will accept the male when the estrogen levels reduce and the progesterone levels start to rise. However, the receptive period may not correspond with the fertile period. The canine estrus cycle is driven by a repeatable cascade of hormonal triggers. The trick is to track these changes by progesterone testing and vaginal cytology to unlock the implant key for each individual bitch as the timing of ovulation may vary greatly as we have seen. A short technical presentation about the hormonal changes that actually trigger a season and ovulation entitled the hormonal control of the Easter cycle is available on Aranavet TV. At Central West Canine Breeding, our aim is to maximize your chances of a successful conception. If you regularly mate your bitch on day 13, your conception rate may be as low as 60%. Be sure to watch our other breeding videos on Aranavet TV for a complete understanding of the science employed to achieve a successful breeding outcome for your bitch. Call our staff at Central West Canine Breeding who will be happy to answer any questions you might have. Until next time, stay healthy and enjoy your healthy dog.